and thank you so much for coming and watching my YouTube video um, I actually haven't posted a YouTube video in about a year now um, I did get my camera stolen had to buy a new camera I moved so busy with work and school so I just really just stopped doing YouTube videos and I really wish I didn't because I really enjoy doing them and it's my passion and I love being able to connect with you guys so I'm really sorry for that but I guarantee you I'm going to be trying to upload as much as possible and really trying to build content and create content for you guys so if you guys have any ideas or any suggestions on what you guys want me to um, put out for you guys let me know and I'll gladly do that and I'll gladly do it <laughs> um, but um, thank you so much for coming and being on my channel. Um, please subscribe if you already haven't and please give this video a thumbs up. But for today's video, I'm going to be going in with the Get Ready With Me on a fall tutorial, fall makeup tutorial. Fall is coming soon. I believe it starts next week, September or something, I believe. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a little inspiration and some fun look that you guys can do for the fall. Um, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. I had a lot of fun creating it and filming it for you guys. So thank you so much for being here and watching. Now let's get to it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to spray some Fix Plus all over my face. I'm going to let that soak in a little bit. So next I'm going to prime my face with the Hourglass Primer. So I really like this primer um, because I have super oily skin. So if you have super oily skin, this primer will really be the one for you. Mm -hmm. It's the Hourglass Veal Primer. It's a mineral primer. So I'm just going to put a little bit here and I'm going to put that all over my face. But yeah, I love how this one feels. And it really does work really good. I've had a really hard time trying to choose the perfect primer because my skin was always getting so oily no matter what. So I just switched primers. And then I also always used to contour with cream contour. I stopped doing that and now I just do it with powder for my contour. And I feel like that has helped also because if you do have really oily skin, you want to avoid having as much liquid product as possible or creams so that really will help honestly i love rihanna and i love all of her products that she has come out with i've been a rihanna fan since like the get-go since the beginning i'm obsessed with her she's just everything to me um we have the same birthday so shout out sister <laughs> um but she's honestly like the best ever and she's really nice do you guys also watch the savage lingerie fashion show in new york fashion week oh my god literally i was like wow at first i was like wait what is this like what's going on because you were just seeing like people like going like that <laughs> all these commotions i was like oh okay all right riri we're gonna do this today um but then after that i was like oh my god like everything i just loved everything about it how she's just brought in models from all ethnicities all sizes everything like you don't see that in fashion shows especially in new york fashion week so i was like you know what like this is such a great time to be alive and to witness this and for riri to do that and introduce that i really hope we see that in the fashion industry and we really start seeing models of all ethnicities and all shapes and sizes come out on the fashion shows because that's a huge step and it's i'm really all about diversity so i want to give a huge shout out to riri for that i love her to death um okay so now that we have all of that primed what we're going to do is I'm going to start first with my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using the Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Ebony. Um, I use Ebony. It is the darkest shade. But do you see this hair? Like, I have super dark hair. So obviously, I need to be using this one. So we're going to brush these brows through. So I always start right here, about in the middle. And then I go towards the end. And then in the beginning, I'm just going to... Ooh, hair, go away. Okay, so we have this one done. Not done yet, because I need to put concealer and fix it up and all that. But I'm going to start with the next eyebrow. So, I went in 
in and I bought the complete collection. So the complete collection comes with 24 brushes and it also comes with this cute brush, um, this little cute holder for your brushes. And I just thought it was so cute because girl, if you don't know me, I love anything glitter and sparkly. So I was just like, oh my God, when I saw that, I was like, need to buy it. Um, it does come out to be, let me check, for all 24 brushes, it actually is $165, but if you use a code, like an influencer code, like Jack Attack, or um, you use, let's say, James or anything, one of those, um, you'll get 10% off, so that does help you save a lot of money, so if you do end up getting that, I recommend it. I don't need new brushes, like really badly um as you can tell like this is used up foundation brush that i always use look at this <laughs> literally like yeah i just needed a new one so i'm going to be using the kkw concealer this is my go-to concealer it's in shade number five and i'm going to be using this concealer they're really creamy they're really buildable and i do think that they're really full coverage um, they're like medium to full coverage, I would say, but if you build it up, it can really turn out to be full coverage. So it's bomb, honestly. So now I'm going to be going in and doing my eyeshadow. So this is... I'm going to be using the Sipping Pretty palette from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm going to start with the JH36 brush. I'm going to start in with the Jungle Juice shade... I really love this palette. Um, it's really nice and it's super pigmented. My favorite shade would be 21 Plus. I believe that's what it's called. And it's this bright pink shade. It's super pretty. Um, it's honestly gorgeous. So that's my favorite shade from the collection. From the palette. So I'm going to go in. I'm using this shade because it's so easy to add color from it and to transition from it absolutely love the shade i'm going to be going with the shade rsvp so it's going to be this shade right here it's really nice to brown but we are doing a fall look so we're going to be going in with some browns hmm. i'm just going to wet the brush real quick because it's not picking up that much of the product so i'm going to be going with the fix plus and really wet it so that's a trick you guys probably already know that but um to really get more pigmentation out of your eyeshadow um you just spray some fix plus on it some setting spray and it'll really help i used to have eyelash extensions for a long time and then girl i had to get rid of them honestly if you guys use eyelash extensions how do you do it um, I use contacts because I'm really blind. Like, seriously, I'm blind. And um, I just like having different eyelashes all the time. So I really hated the fact that I always had to add one look for, like, two weeks or something. And then the last time that I got it, um, I really got, like, a bad reaction. And I had to completely stop using my eyelash extension. So that was really scary because, girl, I couldn't even open my eyes. And I was like this. And it was one eye only. So I was like... <laughs> Like that, <laughs> close one eye. Like that, it was literally shut. I was so scared for my life. I was like, what is going on? I called my friend Riley and I was like, girl, is this normal? I was like, I know you've had eyelash extensions before, so tell me, is this normal? I was Googling that. And I was actually, I live in LA now, um, and I was actually in Orange County at that time. Orange County to LA is like an hour away. So girl, I was driving with one eye from Orange County to LA. That was like an hour. It was the scariest thing of my life. And then I remember, I was just like, you know what? It's going to go away. I don't remember what I tried to do. And then I went to Disneyland. Um, the, and I drove to Disneyland to Anaheim the night before. Um, I was going with my family. And we were, um, got a hotel and everything. So I literally drove there at night. And so, let me explain this. <laughs> so literally, I was driving, and then you know um, the stoplights to turn. Um, so literally, I was here. Literally, I was about to turn. As I was about to turn, my eyes started tearing up like crazy. I was like, what is going on? I literally was scared of my life. 
I made that turn with my eye closed with tears coming out it literally was burning it was a disaster I was like I'm going to die today literally thought that while I was making the turn I was like please God be with me and I literally made the turn I have no idea how and I just stopped I had to stop there for like 20 minutes get some tissues like wipe that off and I was like oh my god what's going on right away next morning when I got those eyelashes taken away and I kid you not like my eye was so much better so it really was the reaction to eyelash extensions so since then I've been a little traumatized from them but I had been you guys are probably gonna be like oh well maybe it was a place you went to or you went to a new person but no like I did not go to a new person I had been going to that lady for like six months already or something so I do not know what happened honestly I don't know but I was like, you know what? I'm going to be sticking to my lashes from now on. So yeah, these are the ones I'm going to be using today. And they're the Betty B in InstaHo. <laughs> so yeah, just a little story time for you. <laughs> so you're just blending this until your arm breaks, basically. <laughs> till that rips off. <laughs> so we're going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to be going in with Blackout. So this one is Blackout. It's a really nice fall autumn shade. Um, it's really pretty. It's a little bit darker. So we're going to be going in with that one. So let's go in with that one. So we're just going to blend this one out basically. That's what we're doing right now. So now I feel like I'm going to be doing a cut crease. I kind of want to do a cut crease. So I'm going to be using the KKW Concealer again, shade number 5. And I'm just going to be doing that over my lid. I'm going to apply this on the Jaclyn Hill brush, JH43. And I'm, this is the exact same one I used for my eyebrows earlier to conceal them. Um, so I'm going to be putting that to do a cut crease. So I'm literally forming the cut crease right now. And I think I'm going to be using, I kind of want to add some glitter to this because I love glitter. Who doesn't? So I'm going to be using Kid and Karma from Stila Cosmetics. That is my favorite liquid eyeshadow I think to this day. I just love the color so much. And honestly, I believe Stila liquid eyeshadows are the best hands down they're just so pigmented they literally last they don't move they don't separate they're just amazing so i love them if you haven't tried them yet you're sleeping go and grab one Here. so now that we have a cut crease going on um, i'm going to be applying the stila kid and karma like i told you guys earlier this shade is just amazing so i'm going to be using this and applying it on where i put the concealer so now I'm going to clean up the sides because, you know, it'd be looking kind of crazy right now. And I'm just cleaning it up with the concealer, the sides. Yeah. So I'm using the Fly Liner by Rihanna. And I started from the middle. And then I made my way down at a wing and then switched forward to the front of my eyelid. After the Fly Liner, I'm going to be going in with mascara. Um... I got the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit, so I'm going to be using that mascara. So now I'm going to be using the Baddie V Lashes, and they are in InstaHo. So I'm going to be using these. Oh my god, these are so... <laughs> they're so pretty. I really like these a lot. Um, I use these a lot. I always go back and forth with lashes. I always switch them up. Um, but my top favorites would be these. Sweetheart Lashes and Huda Beauty Lashes. So, oh, Huda Beauty Lashes and Lily Lashes. So those would be my top four favorites. Um, I really like them a lot. I love the Lily Lashes in Miami. Um, the Sweetheart Lashes, I love almost all of them. And the Huda Beauty, I am obsessed with Scarlet. So, yeah. And then these from the Betty Bee, I am obsessed with the InstaHo ones. So those are my favorites if you guys want to know. So I'm going to be going in with the duo glue. And I'm just going to be popping this into the eyelash. And I'm going to make this soak in. 
until it gets tacky enough to apply on my lids. I'm just putting glue on each one of them. And I always apply my lashes. I for me it's super it's so much easier to put them on um, using a tweezer. So I just grab it from the middle and then I apply them. So I'm just letting it like dry and get tacky real quick before I apply them. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about if you guys have tried the bindy lashes or what lashes are your guys' favorites. I'm always so down to try new lashes. Lashes are like my everything. I love lashes so much. So let me know what kind of lashes you guys like and maybe I could try those out too. I'll hopefully do them in my next video too, but I shared with you some of my favorites. So if you guys haven't tried them, you guys could try them out. You guys will probably really like them. I am going to be going in with the face. First, I'm going to be using the oil control lotion from MAC Cosmetics. I use this lotion because like I said earlier in the video, I am super, super oily. So that's why I go in with the oil control from MAC Cosmetics. And I just dab this on my face. Next, I'm going to be using for my foundation, I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation in Buff. So I'm using this one in Buff. And I'm just going to apply a little bit here on my hand. And I'm going to be working in my way with the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe brush in JH03. So I'm going to be using this brush. Ooh, I like this brush a lot. So with the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill brush collection, a lot of the brushes are the same as to brushes that Morphe currently already has. So if you already have a ton of Morphe brushes, you necessarily don't need to buy the whole Jaclyn Hill collection. But the good thing is that she did come out with different, three different types of brush sets that you could use from so you could get the um complete like eye brush collection it comes with a few brushes and it's like known for like the only brushes that you technically need um to create that perfect eye look or you could get the face collection so it's like the brushes that you need to complete like your face or you can get the 24 brushes and that is all in one that's one i got or you have the option to buy them separately also. So if you just want like one brush, you have the option. So that was really cool also because a lot of times like when brands do collaborations like with brushes or anything, they don't give you that many options. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. So we're going to be bringing the foundation all the way down. You want to bring it all the way down here as well because you want to match your face. So now I'm going to be using the KKW concealer in shade number 5. And I'm going to be putting this under my under eyes. The bridge, the top of my nose right here. And some on my chin. A little bit right there. But yeah, if you guys haven't tried the KKW concealer yet, really recommend it. I love it to death. I really love using the KKW brush, this side of the brush, for um, my concealer. It's just really nice. Um, and it's really easy to blend. So I use this side. And then I just let that blend in. I am going to be going in with the KKW Contour Kit. Um, and I'm going to be mixing in these two shades. And I'm going to be using the KKW Beauty Contour, this side of the brush. Um, the angled side to contour. Um, like I said earlier, I, I switched to using... I switched to using... Um, powder instead of cream because I have such oily skin that powder just works so much better for me.
So you're just going to blend that in. Now that the contour is done, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty um, baking powder and pound cake. Just putting it here. I'm just going to bake my face now. The baking powder is set. We're going to let it set in for like two minutes real quick. Okay, so now that we waited after this, I am going to take it away with this huge, enormous brush in JH01. So next, I'm going to be using the shade Mimosa Sunrise from Fenty Beauty. I'm going to be using this as a blush. Really pretty, really pretty for the fall. So I'm using JH04 for my blush. I'm going to be using a tad bit because this is really pigmented. And definitely, I mean, you could use it as a blush, but it's not mostly meant for a blush. So the shade is everything though, guys. Like everything, seriously. We're going in with the new Fenty Beauty. If you cracked, I'm going to freaking die. Okay. Okay, thank God it didn't break. Okay, let's try it again. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Highlighter. Oh my God, it is so freaking pretty. Like, can we please have a moment? It is so to die for. I'm going to wet the brush. I'm actually going to be using the Fenty Beauty 120 highlighter for this one. And... I'm going to let this soak in and I'm gonna apply the product. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. Look at how pretty this is. It's so pigmented. Look at that glow, though. Oh my god. Holy. I actually want it to be a little more fall, so I'm actually going to be going with Trophy Wife. I'm going to be putting that in the inner corner of my eyes. Um, I feel like I just need it. And since I'm using a lot of Fenty Beauty, product, Fenty Beauty products already, why not? Oh my god, lord. So, Trophy Wife is actually, this one's Trophy Wife, it's actually known as like the sister to this one. I'm going to be going in with Holly Berry from Kylie Cosmetics and I'm going to be using this as my lip for this fall lip. So I'm going to start the lip liner and then I'm going to apply the actual liquid lipstick on. Ooh, the shade is so pretty. So now I'm going to be spraying in. I use a D-Slick from Urban Decay, the setting spray. I use this one because I do have oily skin. So this one is meant for people with oily skin. So that's the finished look.